Rise and shine, my little darlings. Famous rapper Nick Madison here, wishing you all a very happy 9-11. 9-11 is an extremely important holiday in American culture. Europores are not allowed to celebrate it. If you are from any of those stupid backwards fairy tale lands, you're not allowed to celebrate our super based holiday with us. Many of you are not legally allowed to say the N-word either. Sucks to be you. 9-11 is a holiday with a very rich tradition. There are many popular ways to celebrate, such as ostracizing your conspiracy theorist family members, beating your conspiracy theorist family members with a stick, shooting your conspiracy theorist family members in the head with a gun. It's important to remember that anybody who has an alternate theory about 9-11 is a bad person. It's not nice to bring up conspiracy theories. It's impolite. Why is that, you ask? It's because 9-11 makes old people feel special. So what's the best thing you can do as a Gen Z kid? Well, obviously, it's listening to the old people drone on about it and falling asleep while they do so. I mean, listening attentively. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do in remembrance of that time is to recreate it by harassing anybody I see on the street who vaguely looks like a Muslim. They were even doing it in California. This is, of course, only for the purposes of reenactment and remembrance. You know, we're not... Muslims aren't bad guys anymore. Now they're good guys. Jihad is not real anymore. It was back in 2001, but now it is not. Now Muslims are just like us. It's important to remember that this holiday is all about feeling good. You know, when old people uh, drone on about their experience when they saw it on the TV, that makes them feel like they're in the movie Forrest Gump. I feel good when I throw stones at people who are wearing turbans. And a great way to spread the joy and holiday cheer of 9-11 is by sharing dank 9-11 memes. I mean, uh, leaving flowers at a memorial and crying or, or whatever. You could even, like, uh, <clears throat> have you and your friends get together and fold up paper airplanes and, like, throw them at each other. You know, like, throw them at each other in the head and be like, Neow! Like, you know, when you throw it, you go like, oh, no, mayday, mayday. And then, like, when it hits your buddy in the head, just be like, oh, the it, it struck the Twin Towers. Ah. There was actually a performance troupe that created some really interesting and innovative dances to commemorate the event. Google dancing Israelis for more information. Uh, holding this phone between my knees right now so I can use both hands. Bush definitely uh, did not do 9-11. Neither did John McCain or Donald Rumsfeld or Mitt Romney. Or the dancing Israelis or any of that. It definitely couldn't have uh, been seen coming by anybody important who could have stopped it from happening or anything. Nice people do not say things like, Hey, I'm not sure about that. I have questions. Only bad, only very mean people have questions. You understand? Only very, very naughty boys. Only very naughty boys ever wonder about anything. Good people, good boys, good little guys, they, uh, they don't, they don't wonder about things. They just look at something and they feel emotions. Good, good people don't have thoughts, they only have emotions. Bad people, bad people, uh, um. So anyways, um, I figured that was a good little background and, and set of tips on how to celebrate 9-11. I'm famous rapper Nick Madison, and uh, yeah. Google dancing Israelis.